Welcome back to my channel. This is Dano Byron Drone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade this Flysky FS i6 from 6 channel to 10 channel. Basically, if you bought this transmitter for the first time, it comes only with 6 channel. So, I'm going to show you our current firmware is 2.0 and then we have only 6 channel at this moment as you can see we have 6 channel only later we will going to upgrade this to make it 10 channel this is your channel 1 channel 2 and this is your channel 3 and 4 so we have two more channels you can assign two switches above probably it would be arm and disarm and uh, flight mode but if we upgrade it to 10 channels you can assign these six switches to our six available channels this might be your arm and disarm your beeper your flight mode turtle mode or flip after crash and we have two variable switches in my case maybe i'm not gonna be using these switches but for some user they may be needing it that additional features is very helpful when flying your quad or plane on the field but before we start please don't forget to hit like and subscribe and please click the notification bell so that you will be notified on my next upload Alright, all we need to have is a data cable. Usually if you buy a transmitter, it comes with a data cable. If not, you need to buy it separately. It's just about $5. Please take note that you cannot use this cable if you want to play simulator on your computer. If you want to know more about that video, I have a video on the upper right corner. Please check it out. And then next, we need a computer and an internet connection. And you're good to go. Plug in your data cable to the usb port of your computer i will bring you to our computer screen click your windows icon lower left corner then settings then devices scroll down as you can see my case is different driver is not available but we will fix that later if yours might be different you need to follow this next step but if a word com and a number showed up meaning you already have the driver you can skip this next step then next you can go to this website there is a link down in the description box below then scroll down then click this cp2102 drivers for windows file then after downloading you can click that file then you need to extract it and save it to temporary directory in my case i save it to downloads folder then click ok then go to your downloads folder then click polulu folder if you are using 64 bit click 64 if you are using 86 bit click 86 in my case i'm using 64 if you're good just follow the next instruction then it will install successfully as i said earlier i have a different case so this is what i did i didn't have a chance to record it but i try my best to show you how back to our settings and devices as you can see it's already fixed earlier it showed up like this so this is what i did go to your device manager then click ports or you might see this name you need to right click that name then click properties then driver then click update driver then click search automatically for drivers if this thing doesn't appear you need to click search for updated drivers on windows update and you will see a word somewhere around here that says optional update you can click that and install or you can also update your windows if needed that will fix the problem as what i have 
so we already installed the driver for our data cable then the next step is you need to go to this website the link is in the description box below click this file then download after downloading click that file and make sure that the word com and a number on your device in my case it's com5 and it should be the same here in the programmer you need to set it also to com5 or whatever number you have just in case yours comes with com9 or above as you can see the programmer only up to com8 you need to go to your device manager then click ports then right click this silicon labs properties port settings then advance then you can choose here from com1 to 8 so let's say you choose com1 then click ok in my case i already have so i will close this one then ok then it should appear here the number you choose and it should be same number over here back to our transmitter you need to insert the other end of the data cable to the trainer of our transmitter please make sure that the transmitter has a battery on it pull down the two sticks to the left then power it on to access the factory setting menu or simply by turning it on then press ok then go to system press ok then scroll down and look for firmware update then press ok then ok and then select yes and then ok so the transmitter now is ready to update back to our computer click this one to close the port then click program so the update will automatically start and you will hear the beep from the transmitter meaning it's already done so we're going to check the firmware of our transmitter as you can see we have the new firmware version never mind the date fly plus beta then we're going to check the channels we have one up to ten channels right now and we have six auxiliary from channel 5 to 10 that's all for today guys hope you learned something from this video please don't forget to hit like and subscribe and please click the notification bell so that you will be notified on my next upload thank you so much for watching see you in the next one bye